all right? Please be quiet. Not wasting our time here. Please be quiet. All right, when we're done here, when we're done here, we're going to ask the parents to please stay. And the campers, when we're done, are going to go over there with the coaching staff and begin the afternoon practice. But I'll be able to answer any questions of any of the parents when we stay here for a parent orientation. My name is Artie Gigantino, and I run the camps with Rick Whittier, who owns the camps around the country. And I want to thank you all for coming to the camp this year. Rick is usually at one of the camps, but because we have six camps going on this week around the country, he's down in Orlando, Florida, opening that camp. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the camp for about 10 minutes, then introduce our head coach, Rick Solomon, and like I said, then we'll answer any questions that you might have. To begin with, offense defense camp is 40 years old this year. It's the oldest running football camp in the United States. We think it's the best camp in the United States, not only based on some of the people that have come through offense defense, but also the fact that it has stood the test of time. And it stood the test of time, we think, for a couple of reasons. One, we hire great coaches. We hire great coaches at this camp, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. Secondly, this is not a team camp. This is a camp where we take everybody and attempt to improve you from a technique standpoint and a fundamental standpoint. Third, the feedback that we have gotten over those 40 years, and I haven't been with the camp for 40 years, neither has the owner, but the feedback over 40 years has been just astronomical. Just astronomical. Now, I started off a long time ago as a counselor in this camp, and I was a football coach for a long time. USC, Cal, the Rams, worked in the Raider front office, and it all started for me at offense defense camp because of some of the people that I met that helped me get through my career in football. Guys like Tony Dungy, Charlie Weiss, Mike Shanahan, some of the great names in the coaching world have been coaches at this camp. In fact, we did a study last year of the 32 National Football League teams. There were over 270 coaches in the NFL that had coached at this camp, let alone players that had played. Guys like Mark Allen, Ronnie Lott, Freeman McNeil, guys throughout the National Football League have all been part of this camp and have obviously prospered into bigger and greater things. I'll tell you a quick story. About all oh, 15 years ago, maybe 20 years ago, we're down in Riverside, California. We had about a thousand kids at the camp. The little dynamics were a little bit different at the time. And we're coaching the offense and we're coaching the defense. And I'm with the first defense and a couple other coaches are with this first offense. Well, lo and behold, our defensive coaches, a guy by the name of George Seifert, who went and won Super Bowls twice with the 49ers, was the defensive line coach. I was the linebacker coach. And some guy by the name of Tony Dungy, who was an assistant with the Pittsburgh Steelers, he was the secondary coach. And obviously, Dungy's won a Super Bowl now with the Colts, gone on to bigger and greater things. On the offensive side, there's a guy by the name of Norv Turner, who was coaching the offensive line in the tight ends, head coach of the Raiders, head coach of the Redskins, head coach now of the Chargers. There's another big, heavy set guy with a mustache, looked like a walrus. His name was Mike Holmgren. He was coaching the quarterbacks. And then there's this little guy, kind of got it big ears and kind of goofy. His name was Mike Shanahan. He was coaching the running backs. So that was our coaching staff that one particular year at offense defense football camp. And again, the rest is history in terms of what they have gone on to do. We think, we think you get as much out of this camp as you put into it. It's not just the football camp. Obviously, football is the reason you're here. But we have our coaching staff, and Rich will talk a little bit more about this, try to give you so much more than just football. From a life skills presentation, to questions about recruiting, questions about training, questions about what colleges look for, or just advice on being a better person and being a better athlete. Because let's not kid each other. 
We all read the newspapers. We all know that what goes on with some professional athletes today. Hey, there's more than just being a guy on the basketball court, the baseball diamond, or the football field. There's a guy that came to this camp as a camper and a guy that has come back as a pro by the name of Peyton Manning, who might be the greatest role model, in my opinion, in all sports today. But again, a guy that has come through offense, defense. And up until a couple of years ago, he came every year for like seven or eight straight years to take part in the camp with our campers, and not for the money. Because Peyton Manning, don't anybody ever tell anybody this, never took a dime from us. Peyton Manning every year would give the money back that we were paying, and it was quite a bit of money too, and say, donate this to a good cause that's going to help kids, or a fund that's going to help kids go to camp. So those are the kind of people that hopefully your, your sons and hopefully you campers are going to be exposed to. This camp, last thing, this camp is very demanding. We have three practices a day on the football field here. Most of them are in full gear. It is imperative that all the campers listen to Coach Solomon and he'll tell you what the dress is for each and every practice. The second thing, and this is for campers and this is for parents, the schedule is flexible at times. The schedule is flexible. So you got to listen to what the schedule is. It's basically the same. Once in a while we have to change it up due to a cafeteria issue or due to a walk issue or due to something that we help manage the camp a little bit better. So please pay attention we're telling you times. All right, we have 37 football camps around the country. And again, it's a grinder. It's a grinder running these things because we got eight, we got eight weeks to do 37 camps. Hire a coaching staff, get everybody in. We are very proud of the head coaches that we have in these camps. Guys with National Football League experience, high level coaching experience in the college ranks, et cetera, et cetera. The gentleman who runs this camp was with the Minnesota Vikings and the Arizona Cardinals. He's a National Football League coaching veteran. He was also in the college ranks for a long time. Rich runs five camps for us around the country at different times, which should tell you how much we think of him and how much we trust him with our product. Rich Solomon is an outstanding coach. He runs the camp. Let's welcome Coach Solomon.